and in today's video I'll be commenting and describing Pokemon number 65 Alakazam let's get this party started so yeah guys Pokemon number 65 which is Alakazam is known as the Psy Pokemon his description says Alakazam's brain continually grows making its head far too heavy to support with its neck this Pokemon holds his head up using his psychokinetic powers instead his egg group is human shaped and his shiny is pink like this part right here like the armor looking part it's pink and as for his base stat his HP is a very low 55 his attack 50 which is bad Defend 45, which is also bad. This is a very bad stat. As for his special attack, it's a whopping 135, his speed 95, and his speed 120, which is decent. Its total is 500, and it evolves from Alakazam when you trade it. As for its abilities, its abilities is Synchronize, which copies, burns, paralysis, and poison received onto that Pokemon inflicted them. So basically, if if Alakazam gets poisoned, the other po the opponent's Pokemon will also get poisoned. Um, inner focus prevents flinching, which basically means if you were to get hit with slap up or something he would not flinch so then he would be able to move on the next turn because if Pokemon flinches he would have to wait for the other opponent to attack again because it basically skips your turn as for magic guard I mean his third ability is magic guard which protects against damage not directly caused by a move Uh, this one's hard to protect against them. Oh, so it basically protects against. Basically, like weather or, or recoil damage, stuff like that. You know, like if somewhere somebody were to have sandstorms basically it would not hurt him because his magic card would protect him or for example um, recoil basically if he were to use a move like like um like takedown it would not cause him any any damage and any status ailments as well like like poison or stuff like that it would not cause him any damage or spikes you know yeah it's kind of you know um as for its moves upon leveling up is level one confusion level one teleport level one kinesis level one confusion huh? I mean level 16 confusion, level 18 disable, level 21 Psybeam, level 23 miracle eye, level 26 reflect, level 28 psycho cut, level 31 recover which is actually a good move, level 33 telekinesis, level 36 Ally Switch, level 38 Psychic, level 41 Combine, level 43 Future Sight, which is a good move, but it takes a while. Level 46 Trick. As, as for, as for Alakazam's Mega Evolution, 
the stats basically change. Uh, the HP is 55, attack 50, his defense is 65, his special attack is a whopping 175, his speed is 95, and his speed is 150, making a total of 590. As for its ability, upon Mega Evolution, it, it's Trace. Copies an opponent's ability upon entering battle. So basically, when your Mega, when your um, Mega Alakazam basically evolves, um, basically it copies any other ability like. For example, clear body or any type of ability, you know, depending on what the other trainer has, you know. Um, as for his moves, it's the same thing. Um, as for the battle strategy, give me a sec. For the battle strategy. Here we go. Um, as for Alakazam is OU, which means overuse. Alakazam and its Mega Evolution both have excellent special attacks that couple with a fantastic speed tier, which allows it to function effectively as a wall breaker, revenge killer, and late game sweeper. In addition, both Alakazam and Mango Alakazam have access to stellar abilities in Magic Card and Trace, respectively. Magic Card allows Alakazam to be an excellent revenge killer as a focus slash will stay intact regardless of entry hazard and damaging status, as well as negating life orb recoil. And Trace enables Mega Alakazam to copy the foe's ability. And thus, it can revenge kill whether sweepers are Mega, Mega Swamper, and Excadrill. Last but not least, Alakazam has a wide array of utility options in its arsenal, such as Thunder Wave, Encore, and Taunt, letting it function well against both offensive and defensive. However, Alakazam possesses a mediocre, mediocre psychic typing, leaving it vulnerable to the ubiquitous knockouts as well as pursuit and U-turn users, such as Bisharp and Scizor. To add insult to injury, Alakazam has paper-thin defenses due to its low HP and defense stat, rendering it extremely susceptible to a number of priority types, as well as reducing Alakazam opportunities to switch in. Finally, Alakazam is also extremely reliant on entry hazard damage to nab some KOs. So, um, as for me, I guess I kind of like Alakazam. He's not one of my favorites, but because of his base stat basically like if if he were to have a little more defense and HP I would like him a little bit more because his his HP of 55 is not very good that would make him kind of weak like psychics are not known to have high HP mostly special attack and basically special you know, like, that's what psychics are made for, extreme special attacks. Because on my point of view, the Pokemon world, psychic type, I view it as bas basically light type. Because that's, that's how the Pokemon world exists, like, psychic types are just really light types. 
like in other games. Because there is no psychic type in other games, but if you were to think about it in an RPG type thing, Alakazam would be a light type, like light thing. Uh, not solar radiation. That would be more fire type. Like light, like extreme light or something. Something like in Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, a light. A, yeah. Cause if if you keep watching Pokemon a lot, you'll notice like the things in the Pokemon world are there for a reason. Like for example, grass types are grass, obviously. Like basically the the four elements and then more bug type because obviously we have bugs. Um psychic types which are light types, dark types. That's why dark types could be psychic because remember light could kinda destroy it, but dark types always defeat because they're more sinister and they're like yeah I'm gonna get ya you know stuff like that so that's why dark types could be psychic types because obviously light and stuff like that and the reason why fighting types could be dark types is because fighting types are the good superhero type guys like boom I knock you out kind of you know cause that's that's basically how Pokemon was made like fighting type could be dark type because uh, fighting types are kinda like heroic and stuff like I'm strong and I'm the superhero of the day and I'm gonna punch out the bad guy as I say while psychic types psychic types are kind of the good guys but they're weak they don't have any physical attributes they're more like like barriers and stuff like that so yeah if you, if you think about it yeah it will cross your mind like wow pokemon it's like after after playing Pokemon for so long you notice these things like the little things like psychic types and all that as for me I I kinda like him because of his design everything else nah his stats are not very good besides special attack speed and special speed is kinda low but it's mediocre at best and special is kind of good, I guess. If you like. <sighs> Sorry, guys, sleepy. So, yeah. Um. What else can I say about Alakazam? Besides, he could actually bend spoons with his mind. And he could levitate. Um. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mo Talking more about Alakazam, reasons why he could float, psychic, because his intelligence, yeah, is quite high. And the myth behind Alakazam is basically a human. They basically use a human as a test subject, and he transformed into Abra. Or maybe another reason is that. Um, a human was basically a mystic, like a mysticism type thing, and he kind of wants to go into the universe, and then he magically transforms himself in, into Abra, thus, you know, increasing his psychic abilities. Because a mystic basically, you know, he basically meditates and, and does all that and tries to increase his knowledge. And the more knowledge he has, the better he becomes. So then he would actually transform in that because his his knowledge would be so high that he uses his knowledge psychically. Like, because in this world there are geniuses, but 
if you surpass the genius, you 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 become basically uh, like a super mystic kind of, you know. So that's where it comes from, you know. Um, after becoming so incredibly smart, he starts to transform into something more powerful, more, you know, using your mind to move objects and stuff like that. And within the Pokemon world, not our world, I really don't know. I'm not all that smart. I'm a human, and I'm somewhat smart in the ways of Pokemon and anime and stuff, but I'm not like a mystic or anything. Um, as, yeah. So that's basically my theory on Alakazam and how, what he is, basic, his, obviously, his brain, you know, he gets constantly more intelligent. And the good thing about Alakazam is his psychic ability actually makes him strong. I mean, makes him more intelligent because he could use his psychic abilities to actually read more books and books and books and become more intelligent. That's a cool thing about, you know, these Pokemon. That they could use their psychic ability to, to levitate themselves and also increase in knowledge. So basically, psychic types are the geniuses, as I say. While dark types are like sinister, because in Japan, dark types are considered evil types. If you guys didn't know that, yeah. And in Japanese, they're evil. And basically, light types are the intelligent ones, like the scientists. As I say, and basically, fighting types are the are the heroes, uh, the super powerful punch you out type. Type, you know. So yeah, guys, that does it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.